African Stars maintained a 14-point lead at the top of the Deb Marine Premiership log after picking up four points over the weekend, following a goalless draw against arch-rivals Black Africa on Saturday and a 1-0 victory against Young African on Sunday. Their match against Young African seemed to be heading for a draw, but African Stars won a penalty for a handball with four minutes to go and their top marksman, Willy Stefanis, made no mistake from the spot. Stars are now the only remaining unbeaten team in the league with 14 wins and three draws from their 17 matches to top the lock with a whopping 45 points. Blue Waters and Yunam both collected maximum points to move up to second and third places respectively. Blue Waters beat Okahandja United 4-0 and Mighty Gunners 1-0 to go second on 31 points, while Yunam picked up two crucial away wins, beating Life Fighters 2-0 and Julino Sporting 1-0 to move up to third place on 30 points. Tura Magic also had a successful weekend, beating Julino 4-2 and Life Fighters 1-0 to move up to 7th position on 26 points, while Orlando Pirates are 8th on 24 points after drawing 3 all against Citizens and beating Civics 2-0. I spoke to Pirates coach Woody Jacobs after they win against Civics, so let's hear what he had to say. Yeah, it's always going to be a tough encounter playing Civics. Uh, Civics is no, is no pushover when it comes to this, so I, I'm just happy for the fact that we, after, especially after yesterday's result, to come back with that result and uh, with uh, three points. Uh, the boys has been really working hard and, 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 and it's, 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 it's a difficult task to get the belief back and get the confidence back. But I think this, this victory will do us a, the world of good, especially looking at next weekend's matches and uh, the fact that we want to climb the, the ladder as, as much as we can. Uh, we have uh, a tall order, and, uh, and the games are not uh, are not are not are not easy. So uh, all in all, I'm I'm just glad for the way they they, they got stuck in, the way they, they they fought, and and the goals we scored, uh, the chances we created. So that's 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 good uh, good to know, and and good to to go on a Sunday night and go and relax and, and unwind after a hard fought victory like this. Right, and Woody, yesterday um, drawing three all against Citizens. What happened there? Yeah, we were cruising at 3-0, and then we considered our own goal uh, against the run of play just before halftime. That, I think, uh, was, a, was a sinker. And then uh, after that, uh, we had still a few chances to, 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 to cement the game and, and to get the three points. But then uh, they, they got a penalty late on, and, and that made them believe. And, and on the flip side, it also made us drop our heads because uh, the players felt it was dubious. Um, for me... Uh, I still think that uh, despite the referee, whether it's a penalty or not a penalty, I don't want to dispute that, uh, is, to, is, to, is, to, is to, to see the game out. And that's what they failed to do. And I, and I, and I think the character, the character was tested. And uh, last night we had a long, hard talk and, and we really went into this, that we always have to give games away. Remember, we also did it against Young Brazilians, a game that we were also cruising. So um, it was food for thought and uh, we came back today uh, resolute and also we missed a few players through, through suspension and they came back today and, and I think they, they did the trick and we really played well.